Oh, yes. <laughs> I just wanted to look at the Constitution because <laughs> there's probably something important in it that <laughs> I didn't know. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's what's known as rights guaranteed. Right. <laughs> Are they really guaranteed? Because I haven't seen anybody enforce the guarantees of the rights of myself and my family. <laughs> now, uh, the federal equity power was lacking to impose orders to correct demographic shifts, <laughs> not attributed to any segregative actions on the part of the defendants. Yes. <laughs> so it used to be segregation. Yeah. <laughs> showing an official complicity in segregation and limiting the remedy to the violation found <laughs> by creating presumptions keys simply afforded plaintiffs a ways to surmount the barriers imposed by strict application of the requirements. <laughs> Following the enunciation in the Detroit Interschool District case, however, of the controlling principle of uh, school desegregation cases, <laughs> You know, if you were trying to segregate me from the rest of the population and <laughs> your thought was, well, we don't have to enforce the rights guaranteed in it. <laughs> um, this whole idea, once a constitutional violation is found, a federal court is required to tailor <laughs> the scope of the remedy to fit the nature and extent of the constitutional violation. Yes. How are you? What? <laughs> 